What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today's video is going to be a content creator challenge again, which I do love these content creator challenges. And this time it's going to be for the Halloween challenge event going on. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, so we do have the content creator challenge going on for Halloween, and I'm gonna be going over the rules right now with you first before I get into the battles. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me just slide myself over here. We'll pop it up, and here we go. You might not be able to see it very well. Uh, hopefully you can. I don't know if that's gonna be good for people to see, but basically I tried to pull this from the CC chat. And it says, is it me or is there a smell of candy corn, pumpkin latte in the air with spooky decorations, jack-o'-lanterns everywhere and Halloween just around the corner. It's about time to visit the spider and her little spiderlings in the den for a challenge. But beware, the mischievous time of October, we won't let the loser of this challenge simply walk away. So let's see what they're going to do. They will have to cosplay one of the raid Halloween champions as punishment. So that's interesting. So the rules of this challenge, we've got number one, step one of the rules, build a team which will include only Halloween themed champions released in October throughout the years. You will find a full list of a lot of champions below. Once your team is set, you cannot swap out champions. You can't use the test server for that purpose. I don't even have access to the test server, so not a big deal. Duplicates are not allowed. During the first part of the challenge, gradually climb the stages of Spider's Den, starting with stage one of normal difficulty until your team gets a defeat. While climbing, you cannot change the gear, masteries, blessings, etc. Okay, so you can't change the gear. So that's, that's fun. That is actually really, really fun. So no changing of gear whatsoever with the team that you put together. Uh, in the second part of the challenge, once your team gets its first defeat, return to the last stage successful, last successful stage. Example, if you weren't able to complete stage 21, you need to return to stage 20. So you can't just start at hard mode stage one and make three final runs in that stage in an attempt to get the shortest clear time possible. You are allowed to change the gear, masteries, blessings, etc. before each attempt. So you can only change your gear and, and masteries, etc. once you lose. Okay, that's, so that's interesting. So I've already created a team and put it together, okay? So I want to see if I can even do these stages. Obviously, I could probably clear past to like stage, probably past to like 13, I'm thinking, 14, 15 maybe. Um, but when you see the champion list, you're going to be like, oh, wow, that's a small list of champions to utilize. During the whole challenge, you cannot end the battle in an attempt to retry the stage. Okay, You must let the battle run its course, even if it means defeat. You can run stages both on auto and manual. Your submission will consist of the highest stage number you were able to successfully clear and the best clear time out of the three final runs you did for that stage. Five CCs, so five content creators, who manage to tackle the highest spider stages with their Halloween team will become winners. In the case of a tie, several CCs at the same time or the same stage, priority will be given to the CC who managed to clear the stage in less amount of time. If the clear time is identical, the CC with fewer turns will be considered the winner. In your challenge video, you can discuss the champions and your reasons behind picking them. Of course, we're going to go over that. Showcase their build, etc. But in order to have a valid submission, this video must show how you reached your highest stage and include all three final runs. So this video, I'm going to have pretty much very, very little edits just to make sure people don't think that I'm cheating. Upload the unlisted Spooktober. OK, so I have to uh, not upload it right away. So we'll take a few days to go through all the submissions. So that's going to take them a little bit. We can't post this until the 30th. So by the time you see this, it'll be the 30th. While our five winners will get the grand giveaway rewards for the audience, so you guys will be able to get rewards based on those CCs that win, very similar to the previous challenge with Sun Wukong. The rest of the content creators will also be granted the giveaway rewards for participation. Participation trophies are always fun, right? 
content creator with the lowest on the lowest stage with the lowest clear time will have to cosplay a Halloween champion of other content creators choosing. So that one's gonna be interesting. Naturally, a dedicated playlist on Raid's official YouTube channel will be created so that way everybody can see them. All the videos that are created by all the content creators. So scrolling down, we see the champion pool we can use. Morrigan, Old Fusion, Mishinaki, Lady Annabelle, Vlad the Nightborn, Constantine the Dayborn, Elagias, Little Miss Annie, Narma the Returned, Masked Fearmonger, Harvest Jack, Brachus the Shifter, Madam Ceres, and Miscreated Monster. Okay, so let's go back here. Now, I personally created my team based off of trying to beat hard mode initially. I haven't even tried it yet, okay? So I haven't even tried to do any battles yet, but I created it. I only changed one champion's kit. So um, my team setup, I haven't even, again, I haven't even done it yet. I haven't even tried. But if I were to start all the way at stage one, here's going to be my, my team setup. I have Vlad... More again for, for increased speed, which now that I think about it, I might take out more again because she might not even be needed. She's just to speed up the team to go fast. But if I want more damage, I would have to use somebody else. Now, I just want to read this rule one more time. Now, I do have the team preset somewhat decent. Um, Let's see. Can I... Let me just reread this again to make sure... In the second, da da da, mission, da da da, just clear the stage. You cannot, okay, so it says while climbing. During the first part of the challenge, gradually climb the stages of Spider's Den. Start with stage one until your team gets a defeat. While climbing, you cannot change the gear masteries, blessings, etc. It doesn't say you can't change the champions, though. Okay, so it does say once your team is set, you cannot swap out champions. Da, 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 once your team is set so it does say once your team is set so I guess this is kind of set right huh <sighs> okay well I mean I haven't started climbing yet so I wonder if that is against the rules or not because I haven't actually started the climb because other champs that I could potentially utilize the reason why I have Mishinaki is because he has hex for hard mode I have a couple of AOE champions um, and if I wanted to face the regular modes, it would probably be better. So like I said, here's my team. Um, I did Mishinaki here. Hex, definitely good for hard mode spider. Uh, we've got, uh, Vlad, AOE damage dealer, double AOEs. We've got, uh, Miscreated Monster, who can be built for damage. Has a, an AOE as well with protection with the shields. Uh, that's, I think Miscreated Monster is going to be in every single content creator's team. He's just going to be the best one for Spider, in my opinion. Now, we do have a HP burn champ here in Mishinaki as well. But the thing is, it's only on one enemy. So it's going to be kind of difficult to land it on multiple enemies. Now, it does have to be, I think, full auto. But I, I don't doesn't actually say on the rules if you can manual or not. It doesn't actually say. It just says until your team gets a loss. During the first part of the challenge, gradually climb stages, da 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 Yeah, it does not say that it requires to be full auto. So... Yeah. But you have to get the shortest clear time possible. So that's kind of cool. You can actually manual if you want, which will take a long time. So if I if you wanted to manual, you can manual Mishinaki's A1 in, to do HP burns on the Spiderlings. But again, you have to think about how that's going to significantly impact your speed of the run. So for me, I don't know if I need to do that until like the later stages of normal spider. But I also feel like, I mean, Lady Annabelle's okay. Um, I don't think she's super strong for this. She could be, but she's more so like a solo champion. I just don't know. She's probably not going to be the best. I, I personally wouldn't use Lady Annabelle. That's just me, but I don't know. Maybe some big brains could use her. I just don't feel like I can use her in my team. Plus, I don't have her built. She's only rank four. Um, I don't have Constantine. I don't have... I have Elagias. That's another champion that who could be really strong. 
Um, Elagias for me is built. And the thing with Elagias is he's in, for me, he's in a stun set. Um, this ability probably stinks. Yeah, this ability won't work. This one here would be okay because of decreasing the turn meter. This one here stinks. Um, the good news is when he gets hit by the spiderlings, turn meter and everything, and when he takes a few turns, he has to, or five turns actually, I thought it was three turns. When he takes five turns, this resets and then potentially allows you to survive longer. So on the force affinity stage, the goal would be to hopefully get targeted on Elagaius. But you'd probably need to put him in like Relentless or something. So for Elagaius, I, I can't do it because I'm, I'm a free to play player. So I'm not going to keep re-gearing my champions over and over and over. It's just a lot of silver, especially when we have this fusion going on for Timoth the Fool. So for me, I think I might just keep um, my champion in there uh, in what's her name? Mora game. That's what that's what her name is. So Mora game will stay. Mass Fear Monger. He hits not much damage. Um, Narma the Returned. Not sure how she's gonna work. I don't have her, so I can't use her. Harvest Jack is another really strong champion though that I was thinking about using. My Harvest Jack is built really slow though. He's just built for HP, and he's in a shield set with high accuracy. So he's not gonna help me at all. And again. I don't want to re-gear him because I don't want to waste any silver during this fusion. Um, Brachus the Shifter could actually be a very strong champion for this. Hitting six times, I don't have the champion. Madam Saris is definitely strong and miscreated monster. So let's get it started. I'm going to keep Morrigan in there. Um, I'm going to try to abide by the rules or what I feel like the rules mean to me. I've already set the team, so I'm not going to change it. So for these normal modes, you can't, it does say right here again, I'm going to go back here one more time. Once you set your team, you cannot swap out champions. Yeah. I mean, there are also, I'm pretty sure there's more Halloween themed champs, but they just didn't add them in because I'm pretty sure some of them are OP and a lot of players might not have all of them. We'll have to just do this then. We'll have to go with what I've got. I've got a level 50 more again, better than nothing, I guess. Mishinaki's 206 speed. Um, if I, I set this up basically and I was going to record it to go straight into hard mode, but I can't do that because I have to start off at normal mode. So that kind of kills it. So what we're going to do, we'll start off. Morrigan's going to do increased speeds and then she's going to prioritize the fear. The reason why I want to prioritize the fear is because those spiderlings, right? Those spiderlings, I don't want them to take turns if possible. And I definitely want to decrease turn meter of enemies by 20%. Now, other CCs are going to have fully booked champions. I don't have fully booked champions, unfortunately. So I could end up losing this. <laughs> no problem at all. I could like get wrecked. But it is what it is. So we're going to start off with Velocimancy. Then we're going to go into the Shriek of the Banshee. Let's try that. Uh, well, now that I think about it, she'll probably get targeted first. So we probably just want to go straight into Shriek of the Banshee, right? And then speed up. Yeah, let's do that. And then for him, we want to start off with... Probably just start off with the Hex. Vlad can do... He's slow. 183 speed. I think he's in a, a stone skin set. Again, I didn't change his gear. Didn't change any masteries. Didn't change Mishinaki's gear or masteries. Didn't change Moragain. Didn't change Madame Ceres. I only changed Miscreated Monster. So he has a shield set with some damage. Um, but the gear is not fully uh, ascended or it's not max level. So yeah, so that's why it's going to be tough for me in this. But yeah, so I'll start off with this. Focus on the hex, the double edge, double degeneracy. And then we'll go with, I can't even say this word, exan exanuate. Exanuate. <laughs> I don't know how to say that word. I don't even, I've never heard of this word before. Um, but anyways, he'll do this ability first. 
then he'll do this ability. So we'll focus on that. Madam Saris will start off with Midnight Ritual, go into Tricks and Treats, or... Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. Um, so we'll change this to be the Midnight Ritual first, and then go into Tricks and Treats. Miscreated Monster, we're going to start off with Lightning Storm, and... Yeah, we'll just we'll just prioritize lightning storm. So let's do that. Let's see what we can do. Again, my gear is not fully maxed out. So mis miscreated monster. If I maxed his gear out, he'd be at 100% crit rate, I believe, with a 215, 220 crit damage. Um, more HP. He'd be at closer to 80,000 HP. Uh, and then we've got more again, who I could upgrade her gear as well, so she would be faster and whatnot. But anyways, let's do it. Let's try it. We're going to start off with stage one. Start at stage one on normal spider. Let's see how this team goes. I hope I don't end up losing this competition, but I'm excited to do it anyways. These are fun for me. I hope they're fun for you guys as the viewers as well. Uh, now, I did say a little bit earlier that I wouldn't be editing a lot of it. I think I might just edit a little bit of the beginning portion before I actually start this. So you might see some editing in the beginning, but I'm probably not going to edit anything after this or if i do it's very scarce so let's do this um yeah let's see what we can do i might have to of course get some energy so i have to spend some gems which kind of stinks but what can you do right maybe we'll get a little bit of a uh, little bit of cash from this too in terms of silver so boom almost one shot okay that's cool all right 12 seconds for the first one going on to the next stage here we go Let's do it. All right, so I wonder how far I'll get, man. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are and how far I will get in the comments down below. And then at the end, you can edit your comment and be like, oh, dang, I didn't realize you got that far or wow, didn't get as far as I was hoping. So let's keep going. We just beat stage two. Let's go on to stage three here. Come on, get the win. So far, we're going through fairly easily. We're placing the fears on the spiders. If we had full books, we'd get fears, I think, across the board. But it is what it is, you know? You know, sometimes you win some, you lose some. There's the damage there. And of course, I don't have Vlad in like a savage set. I'll show all the gear on all my champions at the end, so stick around until the end. I do have to spend 40 gems for some more. We're going to stage four, here we go. I hope I can get to at least stage 20. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get there, though, but we'll see what happens. I mean, miscreate a monster, the more damage he does, the bigger the shields that he places on everybody. So if I could upgrade the gear, then I will. Um, I just need to reread the rules and stuff. I think once you get to the highest stage where you lose, you have to go back a stage. And that's when you can re-gear, I think, to get the fastest you know, the fastest run possible out of three runs, which I will definitely reread that. All right, so, so far we're doing fairly well. We're beating up the spider quickly, but I just, uh, I'm a little concerned. We'll see what happens. We're definitely going to get past stage 15. I know that. That's, that's a given, I feel like. But we definitely need Mishinaki to target the boss. Vlad actually does an insane amount of damage. Absolutely insane amount of damage from Vlad and Miscreated, of course. Miscreated's in a shield set. The reason why is because I want to make sure we can take some hits from those spiderlings as well, just in case. I want to make sure we can take a hit from the spider boss. So putting him in a shield set's nice, and then he puts a shield on top of it, which makes the shield massive. So I do like that a lot. Increase our turn meter. Yeah, Mora gain is definitely top tier here. Increasing the speeds. Okay. Nice. Almost killed him. There we go. All right, 29 seconds there. We just got a brew. Going on to stage eight. I don't know. Phew. I'm getting nervous here. I might start sweating. I just have a feeling like it. it's going to obviously be CCs that are way better than me. You know that. I, you guys know that watching this video. You know there's CCs that have way stronger gear, 
way stronger champions, you know, like Brachus could be insane. I could have potentially used Little Miss Annie to do straight damage to the boss, which honestly, I kind of feel like I should have brought in Little Miss Annie because, uh, yeah, maybe she would have been better than placing Madam Ceres. Now that I think about it, because my Little Miss Annie can hit pretty hard. Plus, she'll do a double hit, I think, on the boss. Dang, I probably should have brought in Little Miss Annie. I'm having some doubts now. But, you know, maybe... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Because Little Miss Annie doing the single target hits against the boss, she actually hits extremely hard. And it would be really good against the stages of 21 plus. Because her triple hit does do good damage. And, um... I don't think the 10%, I don't think it affects the 10% cap because that 10% cap is only affecting enemy max HP champions and she's not an enemy max HP champ. So yeah, I might have potentially screwed up on this, but it is what it is. It is a competition at the end of the day and sometimes you make mistakes. Plus I don't have the gear to re-gear everybody. I don't have the silver to re-gear everybody. Um, I'm free to play, so I'm not going to go and waste all of my gems and my resources just for this challenge. I could, but I'm not gonna do that. As much as I love you guys as the viewers, I just can't throw away all of my silver and resources. All right, here we go. We're getting, now it's starting to get a little bit more challenging here. I mean, we're killing the spiderlings just fine. And plus placing that HP burn is definitely helpful. I may have to start clicking on the spiderlings as time goes on just because i want to place hp burn by mishinaki more often and mishinaki is now you're starting to see that he's getting the most damage now um so as time goes on mishinaki is probably going to be the main damage dealer we'll see what happens though here we go decrease accuracy on the boss is nice I mean, I will say, though, Madam Ceres with the decreased attack is huge. That way we don't get nearly as much damage against us. Increase our speed by Morrigan. I kind of want to upgrade my Morrigan to rank 6. She actually could be insanely powerful in Arena, and Live Arena as well, with those fears. And the heal reduction, which is, I don't think that that can be, um, I don't think you can resist it. And we'll see. All right, there's the HP burn. Do I dare start trying to place HP burn on other things? Maybe I wait. I mean, he can eat spiderlings. Nah, because we're going to keep killing the spiderlings anyways. So I'm just going to wait to click places. So I'm still full auto. Pretty much no damage against the shields that I'm placing with uh, Miscreated Monster. So like I said, the more damage Miscreated Monster has the better. Now, some people might suggest putting straight Savage on him or Savage on every single champion. And that way you get crazy big shields. So that way, stage 21 to 25, you just get insane shields and kill the Spiderlings over and over. Because in all honesty, the Spiderlings are the things that are the most annoying compared to the boss, because the boss is not going to smack through the shield, I don't think. So yeah, starting to become a little bit longer of runs now. One minute and 47 seconds is a while, I will say. That's on stage 11. Okay, we're on stage 12. Here we go. I mean, if I had the resources, I'd probably put my Vlad and Straight Savage, Mishinaki and Straight Savage, and... Potentially miscreated monster in Savage, too. But, you know what? We'll see what happens. I'm wondering. I think maybe I can get to, like, 18. I think I'm only going to get to, like, 18, to be honest. If that. I don't know if I'm going to get past that. Because what's going to happen is the Spiderlings are going to start hitting more again, Or they're going to start hitting other champs like Vlad or something. I do like that Vlad has that block or uh, revive on death that he places on himself anytime he kills a spiderling. So that's pretty cool. All 
right. Almost dead here. Boom. There's a massive shield again. Man, Miscreative Monster is a beast. If you have him in your earlier mid game, you should be using Miscreative Monster for like all of your spider runs. Put him in damage. He's going to do a lot of work for you. And um, up until stage 20, even in st until I believe stage 25, you can have 230 accuracy. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so Mishinaki still a little bit higher damage than Miscreated, but you can see Miscreated starting to get high on the damage as well. Going on to stage 13 here. Here we go. Can we get the dub? Those fears are going to be very helpful in the later stages. And I know the decreased attack is going to be helpful too. Got a hex out. Extra turn, all right. Oh yeah, that's right. I have Relentless on my Mishinaki. He still hasn't placed the HP burn. And Mishinaki's passive is really cool. There's an HP burn. Okay. Now I haven't clicked anywhere yet still on any of the stages. Again, clicking like here, here, here would actually be super smart. Because then he can start placing... So he has a chance to attack with an ally whenever they take a turn. Boom. And I could and I could probably try to attack the spiderlings with him. But yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. This was actually a quicker run. 1 minute and 19 seconds. Alright, we'll take it. Stage 13. Let's go to 14 here. So far, so good. Uh, we're doing all right, considering. The fear's out there again. The decreased defense is massive. Man, I wish there... Is there an undead horde that does... Other than, like, maybe... Is it Husk? Husk undead horde? But he's not a, he's not a Halloween champ, though. So... Hmm. I don't think there's any undead hordes or Halloween champs that do enemy max HP anyways. Unless, is a Krizia a Halloween champion? I don't recall. I don't have her, so... I think if somebody... So this is going to be the, the tough part. Okay, thank God. I was going to say, if we lose the shield, that's where we start to end up losing our champions from the spiders. So you can see the spiderlings are starting to go really fast. They're targeting Morrigan. Luckily that shield's there and protection for a little bit of time. Extra turns, nice. Oh wow, we just killed all of them with him with the extra turn. Okay, now this is the first time where we're starting to take some damage. We're starting to get the sleeps, the, the debuffs on ourselves. We have no way of removing it, but I do have a blessing. This is where blessings also are huge. So the chain breaker blessing worked. Okay, you saw that? Chainbreaker Blessing. Let's go. It actually worked. It removed the sleep when she was taking a turn and she was able to go and attack the boss. That's actually pretty sick. Blessing. All right. All right. Spider's dead on stage 14 going on to the next one. Oh, we need to use 40 more gems. Yikes. So that's 80 gems used. I mean, we do have the spider tournament going on, so it kind of works with this. This uh, alongside getting points for dungeon divers. So I'll take it. Big damage there from Vlad. Decreased speed on the boss is huge. Nice. So actually, more game was a huge, uh, huge help on this one. Good thing I kept her in. Keep getting extra turns. Let's go. I'm still waiting for him to place the HP burn. Boom, there's a couple stuns. It's to AoE the Spiderlings and get more chance to place those stuns with this, the stun set. I did used to have him on a stun set, and I switched him out of it. So I put him in the shield set instead. 
All right, let's do this. Come on. Go faster. Go faster. Come on. Luckily, we have enough damage between my uh, Vlad and also Mishinaki, so that's huge. Okay. Extra turn. Boom. Decrease attack, decrease defense, smack. See, that, that hex is actually huge. Huge. That's even better for hard mode spider, though. Places the hex. And then the two AoEs, three AoEs because of Madame Saris, but she's not a damage dealer for me, will help you on hard mode spider. If you had these champions, you could actually use these champs potentially to beat hard mode spider. Um, if I can get all the way past stage 25, which I doubt it, I'll probably get to like stage 18. Um, but if I can get to stage 25 and go into hard mode spider, maybe I'll try them out and see. But uh, yeah. 15 down. We're going on to 16 now. Oh, no. I didn't want to do auto. Uh, why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. And eh, whatever. It is what it is. We'll just end the battle at the end, of course. Let me just do stop multi-battle. There we go. That's better. So that way it'll just end when the fight's over instead of uh, going into the next battle against the same stage. All right, so I'm going to have to step away for a second. Uh, you guys are going to end up watching a blank screen or just watching this battle as it goes on. And uh, I'll be right back. So, yeah, you get to watch a blank screen for a second. But I'm not going to cut this out of the video because I don't want to make it look like I've cheated or anything like that. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back for a second here, but uh, I'm probably going to have to leave again in a sec. So, you know, family, baby and all. <laughs> Got to take care of them. Stage 17, here we go. Yeah, I think uh, it's not looking good. I don't know if I can get to stage 20. Yeah, I do feel like uh, Little Miss Annie is going to be on one of the content creators' teams, most likely. Like, absolutely on one of the content creators' teams. And she's probably going to be massive pick, too. But you do need to kill the spiderlings, though, because that's important, too. Because okay. definitely keeping the spiderlings at bay is a sure way to survive a longer period of time. But I will say, the decrease attack and decrease defense from Mishinaki is good enough if you book them out fully. Um, I have Madame Ceres because she has decreased defense, decreased attack. She just places it, so we have no issues with affinity. Um, but, if anything, I should have replaced her with Little Miss Annie. Um, and re-geared Little Miss Annie to do crazy damage. But it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Okay. Two minutes and 16 seconds is a long time. There's an HP burn there. I think we're going to get that AoE now from... Yep, Lightning Storm. Four turn shield. That's beautiful. I did put him in the Masteries to extend the shields. I think it's Lasting Gifts. Damage there. The loss of Nancy came at the perfect time. Goes to show that you don't necessarily need an HP burn champion for a lot of the stages for Spider. If you have certain champs. Now, I will say, though, this is a very long run, so I don't really expect people to do a team like this 
Um, but if you were early game, mid game, stuff like that, and you happen to have these champions, you still didn't have a really good HP burn champion, then you could use this. Or if you didn't have a enemy max HP champion, you could use these champions here. Uh, we're going to get rid of this. All right, we're going on to stage 18. If I had books in my champions too, my Morrigan, my Vlad, and my Mishinaki, this run would be a lot faster. Not having books is definitely detrimental to your team or to the damage that you can do. All right, baby's crying. I gotta go. I gotta go calm her down a little bit. I'll be right back. Little Nugget is here! <laughs> Say hi, Little Nugget! She's here to play Raid Shadow Legends! She said hi! Hello! Hello, world! Hey, y'all! <laughs> I gotta feed her, y'all. Oh, yes, I know. I gotta feed her. All right, y'all, we beat stage 18. Wait, didn't I just beat this stage? Oh, Jesus. Maybe I didn't. I'm getting all confused now, y'all. But I do have to leave because I have to go do... Um, I have to go to a dinner. So, unfortunately, I've got to leave. I've got to stop at 18 for now. And I will be back to do the rest of the stages. Hopefully with less distractions right because you know life right so uh yeah we'll be back we will start off and pick up at stage 19 it's the same gear and everything okay same gear everything we're just gonna go straight to 19 okay actually you know what i'll do to make it even better i'll just go on to 19 you guys can watch this battle when i'm back you'll see a defeat or you'll see a win same with me so i'll be just as surprised as you um, yeah, so I'll be right back probably in a while, but for you,
all right y'all we're back from dinner went out for dinner with a couple of friends uh and the baby so we are back um yeah so it looks like we won stage 19 so that's nice uh but yeah will we be able to beat the next stage it looks like morgan you can see right behind vlad morgan died so everybody else is still alive which means that if Mora game was at rank 6 level 60 with a little bit more defensive stats, she would survive a lot longer. Or possibly have not died at all. So what we'll do is we will go to the next stage, which is 20. She's positive affinity this time, and everybody else is neutral. So the person that's going to get attacked first will probably be Vlad. I feel like it's going to be Vlad getting attacked on the stage. But well, let's see what happens. Um, yeah. By the way, I'm so I'm so sorry for like uh, the distractions. You know, like I have to go back and forth. You know, I have a, a kiddo that's almost two months old, so I do apologize for that. But I've got to take care of her. Um, you know, especially you know, mom went, mom went out with her during the day. She came back. We were getting ready to go out for dinner, so that's why I had to hop back and forth and take care of her. So I do apologize for that. So let's get on to stage twenty. Hopefully we can win. Can we get the dub? I hope so. I really do hope so. Let's see what happens though. <clears throat> Six minutes is a long time, by the way. So if we don't beat this one, yikes. Hopefully we can beat it in a lot less time than six minutes. That's a long time. All right, here we go. Did you guys think I was gonna make it to stage 20 with this team? Let me know in the comments down below. This is actually kind of fascinating. It's interesting to try different champion compositions when you're used to enemy max HP, HP burn only during spider. So it's nice to change it up a little bit, have a little bit of fun with it, a little competition with the content creators. It's really nice to do this once in a while, you know? I wish they did this more often and I wished also that they would involve the community in it a little bit more. That would be kind of cool. But I guess that I could see where that would you know, be difficult to try to track. So in terms of like people winning. But um, but this is kind of cool. I do really like this a lot. It's pretty fun. So it looks like this one might be... I think Vlad's going to die. I don't know if I'll be able to beat stage 20. We'll see. Maybe I will. Well, he is coming back to life because of the leech, so... That's beneficial. Maybe we will win. Maybe we will. Extra turns will definitely help. Um, we're doing big damage too from uh, Mishinaki. I think Mishinaki is going to be the star next to um, next to Miss Create a Monster. Those are like the two MVPs for this. Okay. Gotta get some damage output. Come on. Extra turn. Nice extra turn. Sheesh. Dude, Mishinaki is popping off with the Relentless set. I feel like if people just put all their champs in Relentless set, like really good gear Relentless set, that person would probably win. Because constantly taking turns like that is insane. Unless they have a specific speed tune, then that's a different story. I just don't have time for that. I'm just whipping people up and I'm just like, let's go. Let's just run them. Let's just do it. Extra turn again. Extra turn again. Oh my God. That looks so awesome though. Mishinaki's going ham. Okay, protection. Mishinaki's going to do the slap with the hex, I think, next. Okay. Nope, not yet. There we go. Extra turn. Woo! Lightning Storm. I wish there was more champs that had HP burn other than Mishinaki, though. Unfortunately, he's the only one. It would definitely make the runs way faster. Yeah, see, like, he heals up so much. That's why the run's so long. HP burn. We're doing okay though, I feel like. All right, let's do this. 
Another damage there. Okay. I'll probably go ahead and just speed it up from here. Just so y'all can watch the rest of this. All right, we're back. Got another win, 12 million damage from Mishinaki. He's starting to become the star of the show. So he's stealing it away from Vlad and from Miscreated now. The HP burns coming into play, the constant taking an extra turn, the constant AOEs over and over. Mishinaki is definitely number one on the team. And I think that's gonna be number one on any content creator's team as well as you progress in stages. So not bad, five minutes and 12 seconds though. It's a long run, I will say. So all the videos or all the stages, I mean, going forward, I'm going to just take myself off so you don't see me. I'm gonna fast forward so that way, you know, it's not gonna take five, 10 minutes per run. I don't want you to watch and sit through this video. That's gonna probably be like a 40 minute video anyways. So let's do that. Um, we'll go to the next stage. And this is a stage where I think we end up losing. So let's see. All right, I'll be right back. Oh man, we finally lost. Mishinaki, 25 million damage on 21, but we lost. So that means we got to go back to, let's see, go back here to the rules real quick. So not bad. We made it to stage 21, but we didn't win. We were so close, so close. I mean, I'm sure with RNG, a little bit of luck, probably could beat the stage, but the rules, what do the rules say? So, the rules do state, build a team which include Halloween only themed champs, released in October throughout the years, yada, yada, yada. Once your team's set, you cannot swap them. You can't use a test server. During this the first part of the challenge, gradually climb the spider's den, starting with stage one and normal, until your team gets a defeat. While climbing, you cannot change the gear, masteries, or blessings. In the second part of the challenge, once your team gets to the first defeat, return to the last successful stage. So for me, it's going to be stage 20. If you weren't able to complete stage 21, you need to return to stage 20. It's almost like they knew. It's almost like they just know what's going to happen. Is that weird? And make three final runs of this stage in an attempt to get the shortest clear time. You are allowed to change the gear, masteries, blessings, etc. before each attempt. So, if I wanted to waste a ton of silver, I could do that on re-gearing all my champions to get the fastest clear time possible. I'm not gonna do that, but, you know, I'm sure other people will, other content creators will. So, I need to now do three runs. Three final runs on stage 20. So what we'll do 
is we'll go back here, stage 20, and we're going to run it, okay? And the goal is to hopefully get really fast clear time, right? Should I just do the meaty fists and not worry about it's alive? I'm wondering. I don't think I can risk that because I need to use his continuous heals. But it's only on this champion. So other allies do not get the continuous heals. So that kind of stinks. Does she heal? She does not heal, it doesn't seem like. Start of each turn, place 100% heal reduction debuff for two turns on the enemy with lowest HP. Da, da, da. It doesn't look like she's healing anybody. So I don't really have any healers on the team. Miscreated just heals himself and protects the allies. So I don't know which one do they do. I think they average out all three battles. Three final attempts in an attempt to get the shortest clear time possible. Oh, okay. So it's not averaging all three battles. It's just the fastest clear time out of the three battles. So I could try it out with not doing It's Alive. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want him to do the A1 more often, which means more mastery procs with the um, War Master. And then for her, I may not even consider doing the tricks and treats. I might just shut that off. And then again, I think more War Master hits would be there. So we'll do that in, in an attempt to see if we can clear it faster than what we did last time, which I think was like six minutes. So, yeah, let's try this out. Okay, let's save this. Here we go. This is going to be attempt number one. Let's get it. I'll see you guys when the run's over. All right, we're back. This one a little bit faster. Five minutes and 36 seconds on round one or, or fight number one. We're going to go into the next fight. Let's do it. Let's go! So we got another one here. So this one's a little bit faster. The last one was 5 minutes 31 seconds. This one is 5 minutes and 19 seconds. This is run number 2. And we're on to our last run. Can we get faster than 5 minutes? I hope so. Mishinaki is always the star. Moragain, literally 69,000. She's just there to speed us up, place the fears. That's pretty much it. Decrease their turn meter too, but it's on a percentage chance, right? Again, I don't have books in these champions. Most of these champions. So, let's go into the last one. Hopefully we can get under five minutes and hopefully we can get placed not last. Okay, that would not be good. I don't want to be the, the one wearing a costume, but I will if I have to. You know how that goes. Uh, so 
I'll also afterwards when I'm done, um, I will go over like all the prizes and what you guys would get because I didn't go over that in the beginning. So stay tuned for that. You'll hear what the prizes are depending on who gets first, second, third, first, fourth, fifth, and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, so let's run into this last run. Hopefully we can do good. Enjoy. All right, guys, we're back. We did not get a faster time. That stinks, but five minutes, 19 seconds is the fastest time I have on stage 20 with the Halloween special. All right, so is this one good? Nah, we're not gonna keep that. So let's go and show you guys the gear. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys what the rewards are for the people that are placing first, whichever CC's place first. So it's really rewards for you guys. So Basically, it's similar to the Sun Wukong. Um, so what I want you all to do is during this video, I would like you to place your UM code in a comment down below. You have to be a subscriber to the channel. So UM code down below, be a subscriber to the channel. And um, then whoever does win first, second, third, fourth, fifth for participation, uh, I believe it's going to be five winners. Yeah, so first place, five winners, which is five winners for you guys, the viewers, will win two legendary skill tomes, a plus uh, one rank five chicken, 300 energy, 500,000 silver, and two sets of 50 multi-battle attempts. So that's pretty cool. That's based on whichever CC wins first. Second place, five winners with a one legendary skill tome. One rank five chicken, 200 energy, 400,000 silver, two sets of 50 minutes without. Third place, five winners again, with one legendary skill tome, a rank four chicken, 150 energy, 300,000 silver, two sets of uh, 50 multi battles. So the two sets of 50 multi battles are for every single one, including participation. So I'm not even going to read that one. Again. Fourth place is four winners, one legendary skill tome, rank four chicken, 100 energy, 200k silver. Fifth place, three winners. One legendary skill tome, uh, one rank four chicken, 100 energy, 150k silver, and participation winners. So there's five participation winners is uh, one rank four chicken, 100 energy, and 200k silver. Wait, it also has two sets of 50 multi battle and XP and 100% plus, uh, wait, one XP plus 100% three days. Oh, okay. So you're going to get a, a three day. At double XP boost, basically. Basically, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm surprised it's not up here, though. So that's if you're a participation winner, that's still pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what it's gonna be for the winners. What do we got going on? Let me go to recently used. Boom. So Mishinaki. So my Mishinaki, he is in relentless. Um, I do have him. This is, I think, probably my best defense relentless gear on the account. Sadly, didn't get speed. I got defense percent, which is still okay. Didn't get crit damage. I got defense percent again, which is okay. It's just not what I wanted. I wanted to get crit damage on this. I wanted to get speed on the resilience. So I got resilience here, offset, offset piece here with defense percent, crit rate, crit damage. Of course, we get the two flat stat on the attack. Crit damage here, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a relentless set. I do recommend him in a relentless set. Um, and I do recommend putting him in your Hydra team. Now, some of this gear, Relentless Set's hard to come by for free to play, in my opinion. 
unless you're really pushing hard and saving a lot of your resources. I don't always tend to save a ton of resources on my account, as you guys know. But, you know, if I did, then I would push hard for specific tournaments, try to get six star relentless gear, because it does impact your Hydra runs significantly. So defense here, I do have double attack, though I need to upgrade a different ring and place a different ring on him because I want defense with defense percent, not attack percent. Crit damage and then accuracy with speed. I was hoping for speed and, and defense, but you know, eventually I'll be able to upgrade other gear and start. I, I got to shred some of this gear too, because I have a lot of this stuff I'm holding on for way too long. Masteries, I do have him in War Master. He's in Counterattack Masteries. And then for skills, he has no books whatsoever. He does have a one star blessing. I put Survival Instinct. It partially fills his turn meter whenever a debuff's placed on him, spread, transferred. Um, and with a high awakening, it's just HP and crit damage and more speed. So for him, it's nice because right now I have no Shamal for my Hydra team. So whenever he gets a fear, it increases his turn meter. He is my highest damage dealer that I utilize right now for my brutal team. Uh, very strong champion. Of course, I can't wait to get him booked out to do even more damage. Now, Vlad, Vlad is, I was kind of testing him in arena trying to put him in a one turn stone skin. His gear is not even maxed out. Um, I still have this piece to level out. I still need to ascend the gear as well. Um, again, not crazy stats, 171 speed, 226 crit damage, 233 accuracy. So these stats are pretty bad, honestly. I can re-gear him and put him in like crazy savage gear, but I didn't want to do that because it costs like a million silver to do. And it would involve me taking gear off of other champions as well. His skills are not booked at all. No blessing on him either. For masteries, now down below here, I don't have full masteries either. I thought I finished this guy's masteries. I guess not. Okay, so I don't have full masteries. I'd probably go with either Helm Smasher or War Master on him. Probably going to go with Helm Smasher to utilize him more in arena. Again, skills none, blessing none. Next up, we've got Madame Ceres. I do have her in an immunity set. She's not, her gear is not maxed out. And immunity because I use her in arena. I use her against Tormund teams a lot. 247 speed, 632 accuracy, which is plenty of accuracy to land on most champions. Um, for skills, she is maxed out on her skills. Chain Breaker is what I went with. I like this one because it's more defense, which makes her a little bit tankier. And then at the start of the turn, chance of removing any of these debuffs. So stun free sleep, as you saw in one of the runs, she removed a sleep from herself because of the boss spider placing a sleep on her. And um, high awakening would be more speed, more accuracy, plus the 50 accuracy if she's six star is pretty crazy. So I do want to try to get her maxed out. That way we can get her accuracy closer to 700. For masteries, I put her in eagle eye with defense masteries as well. And then skills, again, they have fully booked there. And then miscreated monster. He's in a damage shield build. So again, I could have optimized this better if I had more silver on the account. I'm free to play. I didn't want to waste silver, uh, especially during this fusion. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go for him or not. So yeah, so we got perception, HP chest, and then um, double crit rate, HP and speed here. We're looking for accuracy, speed, crit rate, and HP on the shield. So HP, crit rate, speed, crit damage, crit rate, HP, defense. Hopefully we get speed at the end. Um, speed, resistance, crit damage, attack percent kind of killed it, but it is what it is. Crit rate, crit damage, accuracy, attack kind of killed it as well. But that's the, that's the speed shield set with damage on him. And I'll show you his full stats in a second. HP, crit damage, accuracy here. So a lot of this can still be optimized. It's only a five-star accuracy banner, by the way. 201 speed, 71,000 HP, 95% crit rate, 187 crit damage. Of course, if I max these out, he'll gain another, what, 28? So he'll still, uh, I think, what'll, what will he be at? 28. So you're looking at three, so 95. Uh, 215 crit damage if I maxed out that gauntlet. Um, and then, of course, this one here could end up going on crit rate, potentially. This one, I can't get another crit rate on it, but this one could get another crit rate to get him over 100% crit rate, which would be more preferable. Or even speed would be nice, too. 
for masteries, I do have them in War Master. And then down here, I got Spirit Haste in case anybody dies so he can go a little bit faster. And then Lasting Gifts is going to be the smart one to go with him for the shields whenever he does this ability. For the Blessing, I did go Commanding Present, strengthens your aura. Reason why as well is because he gets more HP, which is going to help him with his damage. More speed, more resistance as well in the end. Resistance is not so much necessary on him though. But yeah, that's going to be it. Oh, let me go over Morrigan as well. Uh, Morrigan, level 50. Her gear is not complete. I did put her in one of these sets here. Um, the Cleansing Ring. It's okay. I I'm not a huge fan of Cleansing Rings, to be honest. They don't really work all that great. Um, accuracy, but when they do work, obviously, it's nice, right? Defense with double accuracy here and resistance. I was hoping for a triple. We've got accuracy with double speed. Crit rate with double speed. So yeah, so a lot of this gear is just not maxed out. And then her total stats, 247 speed. Of course, you can't forget about area bonuses. So because of area bonuses, she's 259 speed. Um, a little bit additional stats here and here as well. 316 accuracy, which is more than enough. You only need 230 accuracy. So if I wanted to regear all of my champions, if I had the silver for it, I could have and probably gotten up to like stage 22, maybe. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the resources to do that, nor do I want to spend the resources. For skills, she's not booked at all. No blessing. The 19% speed aura is very, very impactful on this. And then she has no masteries whatsoever. So yeah, that's my Halloween event, my Halloween spider event for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got a kick out of it. And I hope that I can get first place, second place, or third place, or at least a participation and not get last place. So I'm not going to be the one wearing a crazy costume. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much again. Take care.